What's up guys? Mike with Cask here. It's 4.30 a.m. Working these early start times out here to get these drums done. And I wanted to come to you with a video today about the behind the scenes workings of the drum industry. Uh, you know, when I first started this business, I always told myself, I'm just gonna build cask branded drums. I'm gonna take them to retail. I'm gonna try and get some shelf space and work a distributor network and do it that way. And eventually I found that that's a very tough path to take. Uh, it's, it's really hard to compete with these guys who already have shelf space lined up. Um, you know, it's hard to compete with their prices. And you know, a lot of them, maybe it isn't the prices, maybe it's just the name that they've built over 20 years of doing this in, in their, their uh, you know, consistency and their quality. It, it's very hard to compete with that when, when you're a new uh, independent drum builder. So I, I found out real quick that that's a tough path to take. You know, you can do it, but I, I would hope you have a day job on the side because probably not going to make too much money unless you just have a real innovative product um, so you know I told myself I would never uh, in quotation sell out and just offer my shell to other companies but you know that kind of all changes when you get a five-figure purchase order and you know you've got bills to pay you've got uh, lease to pay power bill all that you know and so at that point you're kind of forced with the decision it, it's uh, maybe sell out as some would call it and, and just offer your products unbranded you know, and if you're a prideful person, that, that might be hard for you to do. Um, you know, fortunately for me, it's like, I, I, you know, I got a family to support, got these bills to pay out here. So it's not really that tough of, of a decision for me to offer my drum shells to other companies and remain anonymous about it. Um, you know, the reason why it might not be tough is, you know, when I do that, I get to build a lot more drums for people than I would if, if I was just keeping everything close to the vest and, and trying to chase the brand thing. Um, you know, when I'm building shells, maybe 100, 200 at a time for companies I can't talk about and I won't. Uh, I just look at that as a win because, you know, I get to take my drum shells and put them in the hands of a lot of different people. You know, I wouldn't have that chance otherwise. Uh, so I'm very fortunate for that. You know, on a side note, it, it is a bummer that I can't show you guys what I do. I, I can't post about it. You know, at times it, it might it might seem like nothing's going on out here, but it is. You know, I don't, I don't have a anybody doing my social media to work up a bunch of cinematic posts you know, I'm, I'm doing drums I'm building drums and, and it's hard to even find the time to clean the shop you know uh, let alone do a, a big long post you know so this is kind of my my way of doing that and, and maybe staying in touch with you guys so I hope you enjoy it um, now why would most companies want me to remain anonymous when I build their drum shells um, well the answer to that is not all do but some do and I think the reason is uh, causes a certain amount of confusion. You know, if, if one of their customers comes to them and uh, they say, hey, well, I, I saw that this other company's building your drum show, why wouldn't I just go to them? You know, maybe they can give me a cheaper price and I'll just cut out the middleman or, or whatever it is. Well, that's one way to look at it, but I don't think it's the right way to look at it. Um, when you go with a company who's using my drum shell and their components, you're getting the best of both worlds. Um, I, I don't have the capability to to source their components. And a lot of these companies are doing custom components that are specifically unique to them, that are very nice products. And I can't do that. What I can do is build a really good drum shell. And what I think they might not be able to do is build a really good drum shell. So when we can come together and collaborate and we can get those awesome components that they've spent years making and uh, dialing in with R&D in that and, and my drum shell that I've done the same with, if we can put the two together, I think the consumer really wins because you know, the consumer might say, I, I'm not going to buy that product because they don't build their drum shell. But I think that's a bad way of looking at it. I think the way of looking at it is I'm going to buy their product because the guy who built their drum shell has been doing this for 15, 16 years, however long it is. And he's been in the trenches with the R&D. And we've combined that with, uh, you know, this awesome hardware, like uh, take Sonic drums, for example. If you look at their hardware, I could never even come close to to manufacturing that and uh, you know uh, Sotnik is one of those companies that they won't be shy about who builds their drums yeah, I've been fortunate enough to work with them for a long time um, you know a few other companies like uh, Doc Sweeney, Danette I, I love working with those guys and collabing on projects as well and once again you know I could never come close to offering you the innovation that they can with their designs and, and their patents and things like that so my, my um, statement to the consumer would be instead of you know, uh, looking at these companies that don't build their drum shells and, and calling them assemblers and this and that, you know, it, it, it's really the wrong way to look at it. Um, I would, I would take 
the best of both sides and say, hey, well, you know what? They might not build their drum shell and I over here might not build my hardware, but let's collab and uh, let's, let's take the two, mesh them together and create one great product. Um, so if I can offer a lifetime warranty and you can get that through them, that's, that's a win-win for everybody. Um, I, I had a gentleman comment saying, you know, some of these guys, we know they don't build their drum shells and it just come, it comes across a little awkward when they try and tell you that they do or they allude to something different. And you know, I, I can't really comment on that. that that's their prerogative, that's, that's what they wanna do. Um, ultimately, I think they're just trying to avoid confusion. They're, they're trying to um, not confuse the customer base um, you know, if it's easier for them to uh, maintain a maintain a level of anonymity with me, that's fine, and and they can uh, they can dodge the question. I, I'm I'm cool with that. If somebody asks them if they build them or not, they could say yes or no, and, and it might be a lie, it might not be. But um, you know, overall, I think the consumer should feel fortunate that two people can collaborate and build a great product, whereas just one of those companies might not build that good of a product. So that's my take on it, guys. And I'm, I'm building a lot of drums. I, I can't tell you anything about, um, you know, there's a few good steam bend drum manufacturers out there that, you know, you can guarantee that they build their shells and, and they have for a long time and they do a great job. They, they have a great product. And aside from those guys, if, if you look out there on the shelf, um, that there might be a good chance that I built it, you know, so. I'm just fortunate to to have the opportunity to get more drums into people's hands this way than I would just by myself with a cast brand of drums. So that's the way I look at it. You know, I encourage consumers to, to maybe look at it from a different approach. You know, when two companies collab on one product, more or less it's better because you don't want a new fly-by-night company building their own steam bent drums just because you wanted them to say that they did. Probably not going to turn out well. So. That's my two cents on it, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. I mean, are companies that don't build their drum shells just assemblers, as I've heard some people call them, or, or people like me who build their drum shells that you know don't make their own hardware? Or, or am I not a drum builder? I don't know how to look at it. So let me know what you think in the comments. Just a quick video. You know, I'm trying to put stuff together like this because I can't post too much else. Uh, you know, I, I can't post all the drums I build because be a dead giveaway who I'm doing it for. And when you're bound by NDA, it's just not a good thing to do that. So. You know, I got, I got to respect uh, those agreements, and uh, you know, maybe here's just a, a different way of looking at it for you guys. So let me know in the comments. We'll talk to you later, guys.